Joining me now is CJ, owner of Yellow House Cellars. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to learn more about your wines and how they grow and everything, so tell us about it. Well, I'm CJ Kabachek, owner of Yellow House Cellars. I'm the owner, the farmer, basically everything. Everything. <laughs> uh, so this is eight years in the making. We planted our first grapes about eight years ago and started bottling or started making wine in 19. And so our reds are from 19, our whites from, are from 20. And we just released them at the end of last year and the tasting room is up and going now. So yeah. we're down southwest of New Home. Wow, eight years in the making, but you have to tell us about the tasting room now being open. What has that been like so far? Yeah, we've just uh, been open for a couple of weekends. So we're open Saturdays, one to six, and we've had a steady stream of people coming. We want more to come. I know the UT game is this weekend, but somebody that's not gonna be there, come out and see <laughs> us, get some wine. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going now. It's going, well, that's good to know. Um, and you have to tell us about some of the wines. I know you offer red and white wines. Absolutely, we have two whites and two reds currently available. The Gruner Veltliner closest to you, that's an Austrian white grape. Uh, we were the first people to ever plant that in Texas. Oh, wow. There's only two vineyards that even grow it. Uh, Picpoul Blanc is the other white. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a French Rhone varietal. Our reds are Sangiovese and Tempranillo. Sangio's an Italian grape, and Tempranillo is a Spanish grape. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. I didn't even know that. So that's pretty yeah. cool. It's a little history today. Absolutely. And then you have to tell us about what's the most popular wine that you have. Actually, our Gruner is, uh, we sell the most of it. I think part of it is because nobody's ever heard of it. And then when they try it, it's got more of like an apricot, stone fruit flavor. And uh, they're all dry wines, but people seem to like it the most for sure. Wow, that's great. And so you have to tell us a little bit about your backstory. You say eight years in the making. You're the farmer, the owner, the everything. Right. So how is that? Well, so I was a commercial pilot. I've been one since I was 22. And once uh, my, uh, me and my wife had our twins, I have nine-year-old twins, Anson and Taylor, uh, I wanted to be at home more. So we wanted to get into farming a little bit more than we had been before. And so we decided to get in the grapes and we've been doing it for eight years. That's great. And so I'm sure it's been very rewarding for you and your family. Oh, absolutely. Yes. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, being at home every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we live out in the vineyard. Yes. Our house is there, the vineyard's there, the tasting room. So. Uh, other than driving the kids 10 miles to New Home to go to school, I don't have to leave. I love that. So you stay at home, you do your business, your husband, dad, everything. Absolutely. And so you love that, right? I do. And so what is your favorite part about just owning this business with your family too? Well, bringing them into it. I mean, the kids help, my wife helps. Uh, it is a family affair for sure. Uh, but like I said, being home, being able to, you know, be there every day with the kids and my wife, it's awesome. Well, that is great. And so you say your wine tasting room is open. So for it people is. who are watching who may want to come out and taste some of these wines, go ahead and tell them where they can get more information. Okay, so yellowhousecellars.com. We're on Instagram, yellowhousecellars, at yellowhousecellars. And we just started our Facebook page, Yellow House Cellars. Um, our tasting room, uh, Google Maps is your friend. It's yes. all paved roads, it's easy to find. But uh, look us up on Google Maps for sure uh, if you're heading from Lubbock to get out there. We're about 20 miles from Lubbock. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming, sharing Thanks your story, and sharing these wines. Thank you so much. And I had a little history lesson, too, there you so go. thank you. <laughs> now, Latina Lubbock shares more on Hispanic attractions in our community.